Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you a game number two in a match I sponsored between Yuck and Scan. Uh, we saw game one on Largo. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely do check it out. It's on the channel. Uh, and Scan did end up taking that down. He kind of abused the fact that Yuck didn't have a lot of vision on the map. Uh, and got some big damage off a couple times with Marines that just kind of walked around uh, somewhere that Yuck didn't see. So we'll see if he can do a little bit better here. I think this map going to be uh, a bit better for Yuck overall. I think Ascension, pretty strong map. Uh, most Terrans don't open with a regular bio or a regular Marine Medic Science Vessel play here. Uh, it's a little bit tough to stop the Mutalisks and gain some sort of map control. Uh, since, you know, there's all these ramps and everything, they can really contain you with lurkers very, very quickly. So, uh, a lot of the times we see, like, mech on this map. A lot of times we can see 111 builds on this map from Terran, whereas from Zerg, yeah, probably just the standard Mutalisk opener off of 2-hatch. But we'll see, you know, in, a a setting like this really anything can happen you got to mix in different builds different mind games and things like that to try to take your opponent down so all right uh let's see scan is walling in it looks like and you can make a zergling tight wall here this is zergling tight and then you put another depot here <clears throat> and you're all set yuck looks to be going to take his natural and yeah just a regular straight up hatchery first play 140 hatchery there and yeah, now we just wait a little bit to see uh, the gas timing of Yuck. And of course, with Scan, it looks like he is going to be skipping his gas. He would have taken it by now. Uh, so it is going to be just a fast expansion. I mean, maybe it does turn into just Marine Medic. He's he's very good at that style. I know that right now he's really preferring some heavy Marine plays, like four barracks, uh, to keep pressure on. So wouldn't be surprised if we see something like that. Now the gas and pool coming up. That is definitely a two hatch uh, layer timing. Drone coming out just to, uh, I guess, harass that SCV slightly or maybe just check that nothing nothing weird is going on. But honestly, as the Overlord comes and sees, he knows everything that's happening right now. Uh, second SCV coming up to just complete that wall so he doesn't really have to worry about Zerglings. Very nice... Uh, opener here from scan i would say as far as the early game goes like this is just completely standard for yuck but on scan's side because he does have this wall in he doesn't have to make a bunker or anything like that now notice that he is taking a gas very very quickly here uh this before any marines tells us he is going to in fact tech up i was i was wondering about that right because that's not a very common build uh and if you didn't have a zergling tight wall a build like this wouldn't probably end up working but we should be seeing a pretty fast factory and starport out of him uh at this point like i guess it could stay factory and just go for the goliath build but i'd be kind of surprised if that's going to be the way of it now the layer about a third the way done this scv still scouting nicely looks like he stole some minerals while he was up here as well gliding through those those zerglings that are trying to chase him down scan trying to keep that scv alive right now in the meantime Zergling speed is coming. Just some drones being produced by Hyuk. This is kind of a funny thing to, <laughs> to see here. The Overlord just chilling. The Marine chilling. They want to be friends. Everything's good. All right. Factory. Now, uh, we'll see momentarily here. If he wants a second factory, it'll get started pretty quickly. Otherwise, we'll be seeing a starport right afterwards. Uh, there's the third hatchery and Spire coming up. So... This, with the third hatchery in the main base, which isn't a big surprise, that's pretty on meta right now. A lot of people are going for that third hatchery in the main base. Uh, it kind of gives you a little bit more stability. Um, I feel like he he's not entirely sure, though, what's going on. Not that that's going to be bad against what Scan is doing, but uh, yeah, I, I think he doesn't have the full story. Okay, Academy coming up, so it is going to be a starport play. Definitely going to be going into bio behind this as well, and I think... At this point, with just seeing the marine counts that we have out here, Yuck is probably starting to suspect that it's a quick starport build. All right, Spire still coming up. This scout, absolutely magnificent. Like, getting in, seeing the third hatchery and the Spire and the amount of Zerglings and the fact that Zergling speed is done. Scan can actually account for, like, every mineral spent right now from Yuck. Nothing is hidden from him. So, excellent, excellent scout. You see Armory on the way, as well as the Starport. 
Here comes the eBay for those turrets also. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be a Valkyrie rush. All right. Very, very cool to see. Now, will Hyuk try to snipe the Valkyrie and stand Mutalisks? Or are we going to see him tech out of it very quickly? That's going to be kind of the big thing that we're looking for here. Because Valkyries really can wreck Mutalisks. But of course, the Valkyrie is a little bit slow, right? Like I was talking about before, uh, this wasn't factory into CC. Instead, it was barracks CC into the gas. So that makes it quite a bit slower. Otherwise, your Valkyrie is basically out as the mutas come. And you can see that just is not going to be the case here. Uh, the mutas are going to get over here and the Valkyrie will be not even halfway done yet. So uh, a little bit slow, but that's okay, right? He's got some Marines and Medics. He's going to be able to make some turrets. Uh, hopefully everything is up in time, though, because the mutas are coming across the map. Let's see what Hyuk can get done with these initial mutalisks. Flying in here towards this natural. Okay, checking it out. Sees two barracks on the way. And uh, yeah, he knows what's going on. He has to know when Valkyrie's coming up. That Valkyrie going to be finishing relatively soon here, but already some decent damage. He's eight mutas murdering a lot of Marines so far. Diving on the turret as well. Scan going to bring up the Valkyrie. Some fancy micro right there. Let's take a look at the overall health on these mutas. Yeah, he's getting a lot of damage from this Valkyrie, but honestly, with the amount of Marines and medics that he's killed off, still not bad at all for Hyuk. Yeah, he took a lot of damage. He lost two mutalisks. But to kill the turret, the SCV, like eight Marines and a medic or two, that's gigantic. Uh, so yeah, that's it's like Scan's build, though, was extra greedy this game. So is that going to affect him that negatively? I'm not as sure. Now, the Mutalisks look like, like they want to come in for some more damage, but the second Valkyrie is now out. Got to be careful. Oh! Yeah, he can't be losing it. He can't be losing it. Oh, he does pull it back. The second Valkyrie, though, does take a Scourge shot. Gets saved. All right. Kills off all the Scourge, except for a couple with those Mutas. Gets rid of the Overlord as well. He stopped all the harassment at this point. Looking pretty good. Not bad. All right, no plus one attack as of yet. Range, though, is on the way. You're not going to want to really move out until that range is done. Whereas over here, Forehawk, oh, God. Oh, God, do we have some crazies that are going on? It kind of looks like a carapace on the way. Hive coming up very, very quickly. No third base for Hyuk yet. Of course, a build like this will be a little bit slower on things like plus one attack for Marines most of the time. Uh, so maybe he made the right choice, right? If you can get significantly ahead of your opponent in upgrades, whether that is attack for Terran or especially carapace for Zerg, then that is going to be a very powerful thing. It's going to be hard for your opponent to win battles. Now, the Valkyries starting to do some, some damage here. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. So, Scan, I think what just happened there is he clicked the Valkyries back. He either clicked them on themselves or a Marine. So, they were on follow instead of just on a stop position. So, we just saw, like, six Mutas and four Scourge kill two Valkyries for free. This is a huge moment right now for Hyuk. I am... I mean, good for him, man. I, he got he killed a lot there. He killed a lot there. And now suddenly he's delaying scan significantly. The Ling's coming into the main base, trying to run away from these Marines. Uh, just buying time, though. That's basically what Hyuk is trying to do. He knows these aren't going to do any damage. But what they're doing is uh, letting him get that Ultralist Cavern up, right? Letting him get his upgrades continuing to go. He does have plus two carapace on the way, popping out a lot of Ling's. Adrenal is almost done. Oh, the sneaky hidden hatchery right near Scan's base. This would be the last place you would scout because it's so close to you that you could easily walk over and get it. But yeah, really the story of this game so far is those two Valkyries going down so quickly. Oh my god, he just lost another one. Things are not going well for Scan here. Uh, finally does push that back, kills off one of the Scourge. So it seems like this Valkyrie will be safe. This Valkyrie will be fine. But... Yeah, it's it's a it's a bad situation here for a Terran player. All right, let's take a look what we have going on. Oh, a vulture popping out, but obviously these lings getting in on top of everything with their plus one carapace against no upgrades. In fact, that's been lifted off. Vulture upgrades going to factories. It looks like Scan wants to go into mech from here. Okay, very cool. Now we see why he didn't get that upgrade started. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a great scout from Huck to even see what's going on here. The fact that it is a switch into mech. Now, more Ling's coming down. The medic's trying to make their way back. 
Okay. Does live for the time being. Let's take... Uh, first off, just a quick shout out about this build that we're seeing from Scan. This is actually something that uh, Light has been toying with for a while now, where you open up the 111 and a little bit of bio for a little bit of map control, and then you switch into mass speed vulture and then into full mech. So kind of cool to see this picking up a little bit and Scan trying this out. Now looking at Yuck, uh, he does have his Nidus coming up at this third base location. He has a fourth up here, no drones there as of yet. Plus two carapace and plus one melee, both about halfway done. Ultra speed coming, which means already chitinous plating should be done. Yeah, there it is. And the bio forces of scan aren't going to be able to do anything against this. In fact, this whole situation is pretty rough. The vulture is running by. Uh, let's see if they can maybe get a few kills. It doesn't seem very likely. Laying some mines under an overlord. Oh, his eBay actually ends up seeing this creep. That would be very easy for him to run over here and kill all these drones with these speed vultures. Would love to see that out of him. In the meantime, those lings do get cleaned up by this bioforce. Of course, at this point, he can really just lift off the barracks. Like, the bio is not going to do a single thing. Now, looks like the uh, ultra is going to try to break in here, but the choke is way too small right there. Ultra is backing up a little bit. This is, this is a dire situation, honestly. Like, looking at this, it's a four-base yuck. He doesn't have the drones yet. Like, he has... This drone saturation is, like, it's not a lot, but at least he's getting the gas. But Scan is kind of stuck, and none of his units actually can beat the Ultras, right? Like, he needs them to run into mines right now. He doesn't have a whole lot of options. Especially as more upgrades finish. We need to see some tanks popping out. Yeah, he's starting to produce some tanks. Looks like a third CC on the way. Right now, Scan just kind of blocking this all off, trying to stay alive. Hmm. Yeah, the Vulture's going to run in and get a little bit of damage done here to the minerals. Uh, to the mining, I guess, rather. Picking off some of those drones, so that's really good. They do have the plus two carapace, so proving a little bit more difficult to kill than you would think. Still, the Ultra is just kind of keeping this contained on. Okay, a Siege Tank is out. He's got his vessels. He's throwing down some Irradiates. I think Scan can finally gain control of this area and maybe push into a new base. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he loses the Science Vessel. Scourge, really the bane of Terran in this game. In the meantime, we have Ultras still being produced. Plus three Carapace and plus two Melee on the way. So the upgrades are phenomenal. Uh, another Nidus going up. Now, okay, let's let's think this out for a moment. Like, the Crazy Zerg opener is good against Bio specifically. Not that it's terrible against mech like this. Like, Lings are actually really the Zerg counter to mines, believe it or not. Uh, you just kind of right-click them through the mines. And, uh, you know, when your economy's big, that's not a problem. The Zerglings are very close to free. But overall, like, Ultras do die to mech when you get it into significant numbers. Okay, the Ultras run into a bunch of mines there, but they're going to keep going. Oh my god, not really the best control here from Yuck, but he does get over on top of some of these units. And the Ultras look like they are going to end up doing a very good job. The Sea Shank's putting out some decent damage here. More mines going off. Unable to really kill those Ultras, though. Looks like the Ultra's going to clear just about everything. Look at this. This Ultra on a hold position, not letting anything get out. The Ultra's starting to lose their health. And the supply right now is about tied up, which is always good for Zerg. Uh, you know, their units are just very cheap uh, supply-wise, and they don't need as many miners to play an even game. So uh, to see that is making me very, very scared for Scan here, who just, he hasn't really gotten any damage yet. He's killed a few drones here and there, but yeah, not much left over. Look at this. More siege tanks. Looks like they are going to be picked off. Yeah, surrounding that siege tank there, killing off these marines and medics. Not as if the bio was doing much more at this point anyways. Looks like the Valkyrie going to try to lure in these Scourge and Mutas to some of these turrets. Yeah, and he will be able to push that back. Okay, can we get Scan to stabilize on this third base? Just jumping around to these bases. Yeah, the drone count is getting pretty high, pretty out of hand. Doesn't look like he's going to tech switch at all. I think that we see Overlord speed on the way. Oh, no. Transport. Okay. So, Ventral Sacks coming up. Uh, so, I guess he's going to be going for drops next. But is he even going to need them? It seems 
pretty darn yuck favored right now. Like, as mech, you do need a lot of bases to take care of Zerg. Uh, you can't... I mean, it's not that... It's efficient, but not efficient enough for a situation like this. They can't have twice as many bases as you. Well, especially when it's two base for Terran, right? Like, you're just not going to last very long like that. But Scan does have just a little bit more supply right now, but he's about to start mining out. He's got to get these command centers landed, right? They've been floating for quite some time. More Lings and Ultras starting to run down. This seems... It's, it's almost like one of those missions that you see where it's like, okay, can you survive the Ultralisk Zergling waves? Right? Like, for how long? Can you survive for 16 minutes? I think Scan might not make it to 16 minutes at this point. He just keeps getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Look at this. This CC floating up towards this area. A slightly easier one to hold on to. More Scourge, Ling, and Ultra on the way. The 2-2 upgrades are done, plus some Carapace almost done here as well. Oh, dragging the mine in. Oh, my God. Oh, the mine does end up getting blown up here. But the Zerglings themselves killing off a lot. The Ultra coming in now as well. The Vulture is going to have a very hard time dealing with that. Another Radiate goes down. Scan trying once again to stabilize. He hasn't been able to even land this base yet. Well, I guess he landed it technically, but we haven't seen any mining from a third base location. And honestly, I think it might be time to say GG here. It is looking like Yuck is probably going to be bringing us to a game number three. And as I hear those scans, those are the I'm dead. Let me check what he has scans. GG. Yuck wins game number two.